Welcome guys, welcome to this video. We are going to use Laravel View and View X and we are going to create a complete CRUD. So this is an employee management system. We are going to build, uh, include the sorting as well as we are going to put the search feature. So if I search here for user, you can see straight away we just get user. If I search Tom, so only the Tom user uh, employee uh, data is here. We can sort using clicking by this. We have the show, edit, and delete. So we click show. We go to the each page, and we can't. Uh, we just can see it. We can't edit it. We can go back. Then we go to edit, and we can update the details. Anything we want to update. So we save it. It is going to give us the employee update, and employees getting updated. You can see there. Now we also have add employee, so we can create a new employee straight away, and uh, also we can delete employee as well. So if I want to delete user, I simply create here. It says, are you sure you want to delete? I say, okay, and without refreshing page, we are deleting the user. Now when we go to add employee there, the thing is we have the validation at place. So uh, this is something that is also be, we are going to be implementing. So we will be using the advanced UX uh, format and I will provide you with the complete code that you need to create this application. So um, let's get started and let's see how we can build this. Alright guys, this is done with I'm on the Laravel website to install and create the project. We have to run the commands I will be running now. I also have the installation for Vue.js, also Vuex website open. So let's do step by step. So what I do here, I'm going to, I have the uh, CMD PowerShell open here. So I'm just simply gonna say CD desktop and I will be on desktop now, you can see. Now here I need to run this command. So before running this command, make sure you have composer installed and if it is not installed you can follow the link from the description to install the composer now here i'm going to just gonna say here project name of the folder and i'm going to run this command now it is going to create a project folder for us it is going to put all the files you can see it's it just created this folder here and uh, we need to wait till it completes Alright guys, so it completed and the project is there. Now before going any further, I have the Composer site open. Now if you want to install that, just go to download. Here, if you are on Mac operating system, you can run these commands. If you are on Windows, all you need to do is install this exe file you can download from here. Now we will be using the node packages, so you need to install the node.js. You can install the recommended version for most users, you can see here and yeah it will work for your uh, all operating systems okay so now what we need to do we need to open this folder in our text editor i'm going to use the visual studio for this one and i have here i'm gonna drag and drop the folder all right so our application is now open here uh, okay so if I, uh, now what we need to do to run the project, we need to go back to our CMD here, and now I am gonna go to the CD project. Now this is the folder that we created in previous command, if you remember, here, and that folder is here, so we need to go inside this folder, and here we say php artisan serve, so it will run a local server. Now running a local server here, so we can go on this URL. So we just gonna copy this, and you can see our Laravel application is up here. All right. Now let's go back to text editor. Here we have uh, the file structure, something like this. So if we go into the resource folder, we have the views folder here. If we open this, we have document.layer file. This file is responsible for this uh, outcome that you're seeing on the page. And also we have routes folder in the web.php is the main route where we tell which uh, 
file to load for the URLs. So here we are saying that if the user goes to slash, that means home page, then look for welcome.laid, which is here, and it is loading that. Now currently, if I go to the application, we have only this single page. There's nothing else going on here, but we want the authentication for user. We want Vue.js also working. So for that, what we need to do, we need to go uh, in the uh, PowerShell. I go into the directory, so cd uh, desktop slash project because I have it on the desktop. So I clear the screen here. I'm going to run here uh, Laravel UI package. So it's going to be this Composer require Laravel UI. It is going to install it. After that, we need the uh, login and registration page. And I want to use the view login registration. So I'm going to run this package. And you can see there's authentication scaffolding generated successfully. If I go back here this time and refresh the page, you will see we have login and registration page up here. Now currently the CSS is not working here and we will be creating it in a moment. Now if I go back in the directory, uh, the thing is here in the JS folder now we have the components directory which was not present before. Now if I open this folder we have an example component. So we um, Laravel installed a view component for us, just a sample component for now to show us how things gonna work. And in a moment we will be seeing it how we can use this component. Now also if I close this directory in view directory we now have the auth folder. In the auth folder we have login registration page. So if I go to login page and this page is coming from this login.blade. And also we got now the layouts directory where we have the app.blade. It's the layout file. All right, now uh, if I scroll down here, so if I install any composer package, it goes here. You can see that we installed the Laravel UI. It came here with the version number. And if you install any NPM package, it goes in package.json. So here, uh, it is going to be added in this. All right, so what we need to do, we need to install uh, NPM command here. So what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say npm install. So all required npm packages will be installed. So it, it is going to check inside the package.json if, for example, the axios, if it is not installed, it is going to install it. So any package listed here will be installed. And go back to the PowerShell. We need to wait till it completes. All right, guys, so it installed and now uh, we have the uh, package installed here. Now I'm going to run a command. It is going to install a few packages. So let me uh, copy and paste the command here. So I just paste here. So basically what we are saying, we need a few packages for our project. So I'm saying npm install npm template compiler, npm loader, so loading for loading component, for routing, if we have Vuex because we want to use Vuex in our project, we will be using Xeos to doing the HTTP requests. We will be using Xeos, and we are we want to install these packages and save these in our package.json as well. So, I install these, and we need to wait till these install in our project. All right, packages are installed. If you go back to package.json this time, you will see that we have all these packages listed. So currently these version numbers are the latest version numbers and so we have the latest versions installed. All right, so what do we need to do here? If I, whenever we are going to work with the view files and we need to compile every time. So for compiling, we will be using a command. Uh, it is going to be npm run dev. So this is the command we will be running a lot and what exactly it is going to do, it is going to compile everything, all view uh, JS files, and once it is ready, you can see that compiled successfully, and we will be able to see the uh, CSS and everything working. So if I refresh now, page will look a lot different. So refresh, you can see everything is now working. 
Now if I go to home page, it's the same. Now I'm here because uh, we compiled everything now uh, at place. All right, so what we need to do now, first of all, we need to work with Vue.js. So let's get started and use our first component. So here uh, in resources, Vue.js uh, component. So here we have a component and it's example component. So this is the content that is going to show when we need to use it. Now, currently, if I go to app.js, this is a file where we register the component. So, I'm going to make it a little big. Alright, so here you can see view.component. We are telling that uh, uh, this is the component we are registering. It is in the components directory. We want to call this component with this name. You can see that it's giving the example on top. How can we call the component? And we are registering. Uh, the element and in a moment I'm going to show you what exactly is happening here we are binding a div with the ID of app with Vue.js and inside that div we can call this component so what we do basically we have this component let's use this component all right so we have the ID of app here and what we want to do let's go back to the project structure here we have home blade and welcome blade currently in the same directory I'm going to create another file and I'm going to call it example dot blade dot PHP and what we need to do we need to do something like that we is done in home dot blade this is using the app layout and layout is inside the app dot blade and if I go in this app dot blade basically we have all the CSS compile the CSS and JS included in this file so let's see how what we need to do we simply uh, say here at extends and here we need to extend the layout app dot blade so it's in layouts directory layouts dot app all right so this is how you do it then we say section and here in section we need to uh, let me first end section And when we do end section, we need to put at at the start as well. So if I go to app.blade, we are extending this file app.blade in our example dot uh, blade.php. Now here we say section. So whatever we're gonna put here is going to be inserted in this file. So here we are yielding, you can see content. So if there is any section with the name of content that will be inserted here so if I copy this name and put an example and the section name like this so anything if I put inside this uh, section start and section end that is going to be inserted here if it makes sense so what I do I save this and uh, both files are saved now so what we need to do here we need to go to this file and currently our home page is powered by uh, the route so route is then given in web.php here so if you remember here so what I do is just simply copy this and I say here about all right so when we go to slash about it should be from uh, let's say example so now we are saying, okay, if you go to home page, use welcome.blade. If you go to slash about, go to example.blade. All right, so here in example, we are extending the layout and then we have the content. Now, if you remember in app.js, we have an element of ID app, so we need to create that. So here we do that. So we say Dave and we say ID of app. And inside this we can call the component so you remember uh, here it says how we can call the component it's given here so I just copy this go back and paste here nothing um, complicated simply because we have the idea of app it is going to bind with Vue.js and then it is going to work with this component now as we 
made the changes using view files, we need to compile it. So for compiling it, you can either run npm run dev or npm run watch. Now, the difference is if you run npm run watch, you don't need to rerun re the command. It is going to see the changes. If you're making any changes in your view files, it is going to compile automatically. If you run npm run dev, then you need to run it next time as well. If you make some changes and you want to see the updates, you need to run this command. So that's totally up to you, whichever prefer you prefer. So I'm gonna run the npm run dev and it's going to recompile everything for us. And compiled now, let's go back here in our application. Now here, if I say, now the route we looking for is slash about. Now when we go to slash about, you can see that we have a view component showing up here.